What's up guys? Welcome to the Jiu Jitsu Journal by Quotes and Chokes Instructionals. Today we're going to look at two sneaky setups for the triangle choke. Okay, so first setup is going to be from Butterfly Guard. I'm going to first get an overhook um, on the side that I want to lock the triangle up. Okay, so I have this overhook, I'm leaning towards his post, and look, I'm going to pick this wrist up off the ground and shove it into his chest. Okay, I only have a moment here, as soon as I get this, my overhook hand is going to grab my own chest. Alright, so this locks this in real tight. Um, I can look for this sweep here, a lot of times he's going to post that leg out uh, and, then, and then stop that sweep. Yeah, so if I get the sweep then great, but if not, I can lay to my back and I'm going to kick both legs straight out. And then pull my hands out and I'm in this triangle position there. And I can look to lock it up and finish it from there. All right, so I'm here in butterfly guard. I have an overhook. I'm gonna lean my weight towards his post so, so that I sort his other hand so that he posts. Um, I'm gonna pluck the post off the ground, shove it to his chest, and then my overhook hand is gonna grip my own hand. All right, I can look for this sweep and he's probably gonna post. And then I'm just gonna lay back Pull my butterfly hook out, both legs go to the mat, or go into the air. And then my, as I release that hand, I close up my triangle. Okay, so this next setup we're gonna do from full guard, uh, we're still gonna do it with an overhook. Okay, so I have my partner's posture controlled, and I'm gonna look to bring my hand up inside and overhook the arm here. Okay, so um, I'll show you from this side so you can see the detail, and then I'm gonna do it over there. So the hand comes under his wrist, and shoots up into the air so that I can create a tight overhook. All right, so once I get that over here, and now I'm gonna look to attack this arm. I'm gonna get on my side, and I'm gonna go to rubber guard here. Okay, so once I'm in rubber guard, the overhook hand that transitions to hugging the knee is, look, I'm gonna reach over my ankle and grab his armpit. Look, when you're doing this, it's very, very important that you're on your side. Okay, I've seen a lot of guys Try to do this flat from their back that aren't flexible enough to do it and blow their knees out. Okay, so you need to be on your side and if someone pushes you to your back and you can't stay on your side, I would go on to something else. Okay, but if you're able to get on your side, you have this overhook here, uh, there's two ways that I can set up this triangle. Option A is I'm gonna come in here and build a frame on his bicep and I'm gonna connect my elbow to my knee. Okay, once I feed this through, Look, I can control this wrist and create some pressure with my shin. My shin kicks out, my, my hand pulls in, and I'm creating pressure here. A lot of times he's gonna pull his arm away, and when he does, I'll feed this through. If he doesn't pull his arm away, it's fine. I can still feed it through. And then now I just switch sides, and my triangle is there, okay? <laughs> Going back real fast, option B. A lot of times this, what, this is what happens. We get here, this guy feels like he can pass my guard on this, on this posting foot. So he puts his hand on the ankle. Okay, you're trying to push that to the mat. I can grab this. Look, my, my rubber guard foot comes down and I weave it in here. I'm hooking his uh, elbow, all right? So once I have that control, now this foot can come through for the triangle. Okay, so real quick, I've controlled the posture. I've got my overhook, I got on my side, and I went to rubber guard. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna overhook my ankle and I'm gonna hook his armpit or his chest muscle. This is called the meat hook, all right? Then I can come in and I can build a frame and feed my knee through. Control the wrist and look, I'm gonna kick away to create space and then pull it through. Switch to this side, triangle. <clears throat> okay, or I'm in this meat hook, he tries to pass and he exposes all this space here. So I'm gonna control this feed this through, and I can, I can use the meat, this, uh, this hook here to pull him back and bring my leg over the top. And then we got the triangle. Okay guys, thanks for watching the Jiu Jitsu Journal by Quotes and Chokes Instructionals. Uh, you've seen two setups for the triangle choke. If you like this video, uh, we have another video on three tips to make your triangle choke tighter. You can find the link to that video in the description. Leave us a comment, let us know what type of moves you'd like to see in the future, and hit subscribe so that you can see all the techniques we got coming to you very soon. Thanks guys.